Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to sit down and show you what is in my cart for the Sephora sale. The sale started today for Rouge members. This is where you get 10, 15, or 20% off depending on what tier you are. So I did put a couple orders in, but I still am on the fence about a lot of products. So I wanna go over those with you guys and show you what's in my cart. And if you've tried any of these products, do let me know down below what you guys think. If you're like, no, do not purchase this, or yes, this is a favorite. I think that's it. I just wanna talk about some new stuff that I have my eye on and see if you guys can sway me one way or the other. So I will link everything that I talk about today down below in my description box, as well as the makeup that I'm wearing. And if you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's get into what's in my cart for the Sephora sale Okay, so as I said, the Sephora sale started today, Rouge First Access. So Rouge gets 20% off and they get to shop first, and then we have the VIB, and then we have the Insiders. So it depends on what tier you are, but it is free to sign up if you are new and you're like, what are you talking about? You can sign up and become a Beauty Insider and get 10% off. They also are offering 30% off Sephora collection for all tiers. So I'll have all the dates and everything down below, but my cart is overflowing, okay? And I'm trying to decide, do I really want this? Do I really need this? So the first thing that's really drawing me in is this K18 Air Wash Dry Shampoo. So I have really liked the K18, it's kind of like the Olaplex, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's basically a treatment that really helps smooth the hair, treat the hair. But when I saw this dry shampoo, it really intrigued me. What makes this interesting is that it's non-aerosol, but typically when you you think of a non-aerosol dry shampoo, it's usually just powder and it just kind of puffs out. This is a non-aerosol, but it's a mist. It kind of is giving me the same vibe as the Bumble and Bumble, I think it's like post-workout hairspray, where it's supposed to kind of get your oils under control, refresh your hair. So I really want to try this. I'm a little bit perplexed by the price tag, which is 48 doll hairs. That is crazy expensive, but from the reviews that I've seen on TikTok, you only need like one spray per section of hair. So I do imagine that it's going to last much longer than an aerosol because aerosols, you know, you're like spraying your whole head and before you know it, you're halfway through the bottle. So this is a top pick that's in my basket. I just feel like I have to know if it works or not. I have to know for myself if that makes sense. So if you've tried this, let me know, but I think I'm definitely gonna pick this up. Okay, next up, I have been so excited to try these. These are the new Gisu Honey Infused Hydrating Lip Oils. So originally they came out with the clear version and then they had one with a little bit of sparkle. The packaging is absolutely stunning on this lip oil. It's probably the prettiest packaging ever, but because I think they're a natural brand, the lip oil had sort of like an olive oil scent. So they did come out with three new shades. One of them is a sheer pinky red, one is a sheer hot coral, and then the other one is a clear pink shimmer, very similar to the Summer Fridays in Sugar Cookie or Birthday Cake. Birthday Cake, I get all of these mixed up. These new ones actually have a scent in them, so I'm hoping that because they added a fragrance, you won't get that olive oil smell. I do remember this formula being super shiny and not thick at all. I just think the packaging and the presentation is A+, plus. so I'm really hoping that they do fix the scent issue. I feel like I'm leaning towards strawberry sorbet just because it looks like it has the most oomph, but I'm also really interested in the pink shimmer one. So this is definitely on my list, all three of these, and I need to hone it in and just choose one. A new release that I'm surprised caught my eye is this new Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. I really am just not that much into highlighters. I stick with the ones that I know and love. I've just seen that this is super blinding, a little goes a long way, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's something about the way this sat on the skin, I was like, I need to have it. I texted Cheryl, she got this in PR and she said it's super intense, but it's gorgeous. So once she gave me the go, I was like, I'm going to add this to cart. I did pick up the second shade, I think, which is the Prosecco. It's the soft light gold and I'm excited to try it, but this one is already on its way to me. 
I do have a couple products from Freck in my cart. I did rave about their lip liners in my recommendations video. I will have that link down below. It's the last video I posted before this one. And I am floored by the formula on these lip liners. So this is the Freck Beauty Makeout Club Nude Muse Lip Liners. There's six different shades. I initially got shade three, but I already have ordered shade one and shade four. This formula is so pigmented, so smooth, and so long lasting. It reminds me of the Natasha Denona lip liners, but even smoother and more lightweight. It almost just sort of glides on your lips and it's seamless. I don't know how else to describe it, but they last forever, which is what I look for. Like even with glosses and lip oils on top, it does not break down and that is hard to find. And the price point, these are $18 each before the discount. So really one of the more affordable brands at Sephora. So I definitely have two more lip liners in my cart. I also have this in my cart, which is the Freck Beauty Rich Moisturizer. She's been used and abused hanging on by a thread. Literally, I'm getting like the last drops out. This has just been my tried and true moisturizer to prep for makeup for years. I've recommended this in literally like five or six recommendations videos. I buy one every single sale. I just love this. It's thick, it's hydrating, but it doesn't add a heavy layer under my makeup. So it doesn't break up my makeup, make me oily, make me greasy, but it gives me a nice hydration. This is just top, top tier for me. So I already have one of those on the way as well. Jumping around a bit, I do have a fragrance that I really wanna try, but I feel like the price is just so expensive. I have to go in store. I cannot blind buy this, but I am interested. One of you guys told me this is incredible. This is the Killian Sunkissed Goddess Fragrance. This is 295 doll hairs. Like, what? I have bought, I think, one Killian fragrance full size, which is uh, not Princess. I love Princess. Love, don't be shy. And that is the only one I could stomach because that price tag is painful, okay? I have a lot of the smaller sizes of Killian, but this one just feels like it's gonna be perfect for this time of year. Bergamot, tear, flower, and coconut. It's supposed to be a comforting, warm, beachy scent. The coconut's drawing me in, the bergamot, I really love bergamot. I've come to learn that I do like fragrances with that in it. The price is killing me though. I'm like, can we get a travel size? So I've got my eye on this. I do need to just go in store and smell it if possible. It's really drawing me in, but I've got to love, love, love a fragrance to spend that kind of cash on it. And while we're on the topic of fragrance, there was another brand that's new that I really wanted to try, and that is the Forever Mood Fragrances by Jackie Ina. So I'm a huge fan of the candles. I have purchased so many of them, and she just dropped fragrance. So she has four different scents. Cheryl told me that this was available on Sephora yesterday, and because a lot of the other like singles were sold out, I was like, I feel like this is gonna sell out. So I went ahead and grabbed it yesterday. It was $24 and you get to try all four fragrances. I do like also that these are actually sprays, so they're not roller balls. So you can really test it out, spray it on yourself, see how it wears. Now, as of this morning, it's still available, but I just don't feel like it's gonna be available for long because her actual fragrances are like selling like hotcakes. Me and Ian smelled these last night and I can just tell you ranking them, I definitely like NDA the most and that's the one that I would have never tried because it's supposed to have tobacco flower, spiced rum and vanilla bean. This one is really, really nice. It's fresh, it's sweet, it has that, I guess, little bit of flower in there but it really to me is more like a vanilla warm with a light floral. So this is my favorite and I truly would have never tried that just because tobacco doesn't sound good to me personally And then my second favorite would be hard to get this is lemon jasmine and vanilla frosting This one smells spot-on. It's just like a sweet Warm lemon vanilla cake. So I do like this one. The third one is you remind me I thought I would like this more but this is apricot and white florals This one is just sort of I don't know it's musky and it has that white floral aspect It just didn't wow me I wouldn't reach for this one and then the one that I really didn't get on with is I am her this one is red velvet, pear, and raspberry. To me, this is very strong, the strongest of all of them. Like this one would give me a headache, 
very mature, floral. I just didn't get really any of the red velvet, you know, any of that. So for me, this one is just way too much, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview if you were like, I wanna know what these smell like. Again, they're selling like hotcakes, so I wanna get my hands on this, and I'm glad I did instead of like investing in a big bottle without smelling them, because I'm telling you, I would have literally never bought NDA, and it was the one I ended up liking the most. Okay, so now I wanna talk about some pricey lip products that I am considering, but I just don't know if I'm gonna love them enough. So Westman Atelier has these Lip Suede Hydrating Matte Lipsticks. I have not tried this brand. I feel like it's just super pricey, and it's more of like a natural clean girl brand, but there's a shade in particular that I'm interested in, which is the lightest shade called Lacquer. It's supposed to be a coral flush. I just don't know if this is gonna be light enough for me because because I do just prefer a really light lipstick with a deeper lip liner. And at the price tag of 50 bucks, I'm like, I really hope I like this shade. My Sephora's around me don't have this in store, so I don't know if I'd ever be able to see it. But I am eyeing that just because I wanna try the formula, but also that shade just looks really appealing to me. Another super high-end lip product I really wanna try is the Armani Beauty Prisma Glass Hydrating Lip Gloss. So I really am drawn in by the photos. This almost looks like a lip oil to me, just super high shine, has that jelly type of feel. And the shade that's really standing out to me is the Cherry Glaze. I just love the look of like this beautiful glass jelly lip. I love the red tint, it's just stunning. You know, it's like you had a popsicle, which you guys know I love. But the price tag of 38 bucks, I just don't wanna get it and be like, oh, it has a floral taste, or it doesn't have any pigment, it just looks clear. So I need to know from you guys. Have you tried this formula? What do you think? I kinda wanna listen to my gut and save my wallet 38 bucks, unless this is phenomenal. Another crazy expensive lip product that I'm really curious about is the Prada Beauty Monochrome Hyper Matte Refillable Lipstick, specifically in this shade called Alabaster. I really kind of feel like this is gonna be similar to one of my favorite lipsticks, which is the Tom Ford Blush New. That one is limited edition, so you can't even get it anymore, but it's such a light nude shade, very similar to like MAC Myth. So I use that to lighten up other lipsticks, and it's something that I reach for all the time. So this one is giving me a similar vibe, but 50 bucks, this is definitely pricey. I've seen a lot of buzz about these, especially on TikTok. This would be something that I would like to maybe see in store, but I don't think any of the Sephora's near me carry Prada Beauty, unfortunately. Okay, next let's talk about Miss Pat McGrath. So this product I remember trying years ago, and I did think it was really nice. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. But I wanna try this new shade in particular, which is pink. I feel like everybody goes crazy for the pink under eye and just the pink powders in general. I haven't found one that I feel like works perfectly for me. A lot of times I feel like the pinks are just a little bit too pigmented or maybe a little bit too dark and they darken my under eye, but I am intrigued by this just because I know the formula was something that I did enjoy at one time and it looks like it's a really soft pink that would also brighten. So that one is definitely in my car and I'm kind of hemming and hawing on whether I wanna try this one. Another new hair product that I am dying to try is from Color Wow. This is the Money Mist Leave-In Conditioner. Color Wow has a money mask that I love. It is super hydrating. It makes your hair feel like silk. Now this is the sister to that, which is the Money Mist. So it says it's good for damage, frizz, dryness, and heat protection. Just because I've had a pretty good experience with Color Wow, I love their dream coat, I love the money mask, and being that this is the sister product to the money line, I'm really interested to try this one out. This next product actually doesn't become available until tomorrow, but I'm excited to try this. This is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. So I'm interested because it's supposed to be a matte finish, long wearing, that reduces shine for a airbrushed 
finish. Anytime I hear airbrush, my ears perk up. This says that it's also good for pores, which I'm like, hello, that is me. So I'm interested to try this because typically Hourglass has that more glowy finish, radiant finish in terms of their powders, their blushes, their bronzers. So this is intriguing to me because it is a matte finish. So I definitely want to grab this and test it out. I do also have a code for the Hourglass website. Anytime you want to shop, you can get 10% off with my code Stephanie10. So I'll have that down below as well. But again, if you're shopping this sale and your Rouge or your VIB, you can get 20 or 15% off. So I definitely want to try this product out. Another product I raved about in my recommendations was this new formula from ABH. This is the Lip Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So I have the shade Kiss and I absolutely love this formula. So I do have the shade Peachy Nude in my cart because it's a little bit lighter. Again, kind of like the MAC Myth, I'm hoping. This formula is super pigmented. It has like a powdery, soft matte feel. I would use a balm if you have dry lips before you apply this, but I just love how long it lasts. It's super beautiful and it gives me that just like blurred powder look on my lips. So I'm hoping she comes out with more shades, but I definitely wanna pick up that peachy nude just to try another shade because I love the formula so much. All right, and to finish off, I do have some products that I'm going to be restocking or picking up another shade in. So I'm definitely gonna be restocking on my Cali Ray setting spray. This is just my favorite. It has replaced my Charlotte Tilbury. It just makes my makeup last all day, but it doesn't make me look greasy or too matte. It really just keeps my makeup in place. I've gone through so many of these. I'm also going to get a lighter shade of the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I absolutely adore this foundation. When I originally got it, I have the shade six, and it is just super deep for me. This is like fresh tan deep. So I do wanna get a shade that's more on the light side that I can mix and match and wear when my self tan is not freshly applied. I'm also considering getting a backup of the Glowish Blur Jam. This is actually being discontinued, the Glowish line in general, and this is my favorite primer for smoothing the pore area. So I have about half of this jar left, and I think I have another one that's open as well. So I might just grab one more just to have as a backup so that it will last me for quite a while. I do also love my Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. It's incredible, but I do do have a large size that I purchased from the last sale, so I'm good with that one. And then of course, I am going to restock on my shampoos that I swear by, which is the Olaplex Purple Shampoo and then the Way Detox Shampoo. Those are products that I've been using forever. I just use the Purple Shampoo once or twice a week. It really makes my hair bright, keeps it non-brassy, and then the Way Detox is just incredible for getting all of the product, hairspray, dry shampoo, shampoo out of your hair, so I highly recommend that one as well. All right, guys, so I think that is everything that is currently in my cart or on the way to me for the Sephora VIB sale. Things drop left and right, so you really never know where we're gonna end up by the time this sale is over. So as I said, I will have a haul coming, maybe two, just because a lot can happen in the next you know, 10 days or so. So we'll see if anything new drops that piques my interest. But if you have any recommendations, leave them down below. And if you've tried any of these products, I would love to hear your experience. But of course, I will link everything that I talked about today down below in my description box. I will also link the makeup I'm wearing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, I hope you stick around and subscribe. As always, thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.